guys, welcome back to the line winder here in the basement at Gamefish. Got a lot to go over today. Um, fitting up a switch setup for a customer. Um, what's he got? 11 foot six, uh, 11 foot seven, eight switch rod. Um, and what he's decided to go with is the Vision Hero reel. Talk about that in a second. He's got the metered running line from Rio and then the Scandi Short VersiTip kit. Which is the one we recommend for switch rods. Just briefly on the reel, then. Uh, we like these reels um, from Vision. Very lightweight. It's a die cast reel, but very light. Obviously, you can see a lot of porting, so a lot of material removed. They actually CNC cut these reels after the casting, so it's not just a straight casting. They're cast and then they're CNC'd, and it's a really nice, high level of finish. Um, yeah, what else is there to say really? I really like the handle. It's got this sort of foam EVA type handle, which feels great. I'm sure it'd be good when it's wet as well. Um, drags very good, very smooth, strong enough for, you know, sea trout and, and um, smaller salmon, certainly trout at this size. Um, the only downside of this drag knob is that it's quite heavily recessed into the reel which annoys me. So you can only really use your fingertips on it. If you try and get hold of it, your knuckles hit uh, this part of the reel, which is a bit frustrating. But having said that, I, I would still use it. Um, yeah, good reel. So onto that. The custom like the Scandi VersiTip. VersiTip Short, oh sorry, Scandi Short VersiTip Kit. Um, on our recommendation, this is these are built for switch rods basically it's a scandy profile but part of the head is the tip if that makes sense so that the total head length is 33 feet so quite short um, but 10 feet of that is the tip and what that means is let's get this out what that means is so that's the main body of the head and then you've got your comes with all this by the way the kit and then you've got your a selection of 10 foot tips now, I can't remember which tips you get in this, but certainly a full float, that's an intermediate, and then probably a sink, sink three and a sink five, I think. Um, so what that means is just nice and short. So if you're in a, if you're fishing somewhere where you've got trees or, or high banks behind you, nice tight loops. Um, so perfect for the switch rods, perfect for sea trout or, or small salmon, small salmon setups. The kit doesn't come with a running line, however. So you need to you need to purchase a running line. Um, it, the customer's gone with the metered shooting line from Rio. So it's the Elite. They are all Elite now, these ones, which means they've got the low stretch core, which is great when you're playing a fish. You can kind of feel everything. Also, they come with the, the slick cast coating. So super slick, uh, super durable uh, coating on these latest generation Rio lines. And the backing, well, we'll just take 30 pound backing off the off the main spool here so let's get this fitted up It's worth mentioning here that this reel is a what they call what Vision calls a seven to nine uh, weight, and that's that's basically appropriate the trout seven to nine, not the salmon seven to nine. So I'm putting an eight, which is uh, 485 grain, which is the weight of this head, and you can get away with that because it's nice and short. But I wouldn't you wouldn't be able to fit probably wouldn't be able to fit a fully fledged salmon quite a long-headed salmon line on this reel they just it just doesn't have the capacity um but it's fine for switch and obviously trout so that's there his left hand winds forward I don't know how big the 
how much line the head takes up. So we're pr probably there at that. Let's just double check. Kind of get an idea. Stack these up. Push it into the push it into the reel. Touch more. That's probably 150, could be 150, 200 yards there. Right, big loop in this end then. Ready for the loop to loop connection. Is that going to be big enough? Mm, not sure. interesting so yeah I'd forgotten about that these these running lines have a big loop on the back end already so I could have done a small loop on the back end um, but it, it doesn't matter it'll be fine either way See it change in colour there, that's something I forgot to mention. This the elite backing changes colour every 10 feet, I think it is. Yeah, 10 feet. So you you can see your, how far you're casting basically. If you know your head's 33 feet and you know how long your tip is and, and, and your your nylon, and then you know if you count the colours on this thing, you know how, how you're casting or where you're casting handy for some people, uh, perhaps a gimmick for others. I think it's useful. Put the head on. Need to make sure you get these heads the right way around. They're tagged, so that's, that's to the running line. And if you haven't got that, it's always that orange marker, which is the back of the head. Again, loop to loop. Uh, because these bloody heads don't come on a spool, you're getting a bit of a pickle. But let me just chuck that on the floor. There we Quite full. Um, a bit faster towards the end. That's quite full. Let's see how that sits on the reel. There's left hand wise, so that's going to come off there. Very nice. So as I said, this customer's uh, fishing a switch rod. He's actually fishing, or he wants it for the Wittada. So it's quite a small water. Um, and I think this is going to be perfect for him. Quite, I think he's quite new to, to spay casting in general. And um, these lines are very easy, easy casting lines. They're actually perfect for a beginner. I won't put a tip on there, but I just want to let him know that you, can, you, need to put, you need to put the tip on. You can use any one of those and then just do a bit of nylon and, um, and you fly and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm.